For this episode, we are writing a Gandalf lore chatbot with Langchain, Langserve, and Pinecone for Retrieval Augmented Generation. So, today's demo is AWS powered. For this, we will write infrastructure as code to containerize our Langserve application and provision our VPC with infrastructure. The infrastructure we require includes Elastic Container Registry, for our container image, Fargate to run our container service, an application load balancer, and of course, a NAT gateway so we can reach our services as well. Hello, my name is Cad Morgan, and I am a community engineer on the Pulumi Developer Relations team. So for our project, why don't we take a look at the sample code that we're starting from. We're going to be jumping in with the code from GitHub's Pulumi examples repository, and we're going to use the AWS Python LangServe example. So let's go ahead and start by preparing our developer environment. Okay, so here I just have a normal VS code opened up on my local system. And to start, we're going to launch a new developer container code spaces hosted on GitHub. So we're going to create a new code spaces and we're going to tell it what repo we're creating code spaces from. So this is the Pulumi examples repository. It's going to want to know what branch we're using here. And we're of course going to go right off of the main or master branch. And because we're deploying an AWS project, we're going to use this dev container slash AWS dev container dot JSON. We can probably get by with two cores, but for today, we're just going to launch with four cores. And it'll take a few moments for that to set up. This is a great time to go grab a beverage and uh, get settled in for a little bit of coding. We definitely have some deep dives to go into. All right, there it is. We have a developer environment completely ready to use and preloaded with our starting a code project. So let's get into it and uh, see what we can write. So let's get into it and see if we can deploy this app. Okay, and now for our next step, we're gonna do a Pulumi login. Now I have Pulumi access token already set in my environment variable, so it was able to pull that in quickly. Otherwise, you just log in to app.pulumi.com and uh, create a new API token for yourself. For our next setup step, we're gonna authenticate with AWS using AWS SSO credentials. For this, I can write an AWS config and then you can see I have the AWS CLI that loaded when the dev container built for our code spaces environment. And all I should have to do is write AWS configure SSO. You can see that just opens up a browser tab. So I can confirm and continue. Use my Pulumi account, of course, and allow. So now we should be able to sign in. Our region today is going to be US West 2. We're going to accept our defaults and we are authenticated. All right, we have our AWS credentials. Next, let's get our GitHub set up. First things first. We're going to GitHub auth login. And again, I already have a GitHub token set up in my environment variables here. So alternatively, you would just authorize with your own GitHub token. We're going to use GitHub as an authentication provider for the Git CLI. And now we can are good to go. So now let's change directories into our sample code base. We're going to use AWS, Python, and LangServe. So you can see we're in the AWS PyLangServe code base. 
And you can see a few files here that are going to uh, provide our template to get started with. Next up is to use Pulumi to grab all of our dependencies for this project. Pulumi install will set up a virtual environment so that this doesn't affect our globally installed Python packages. Our dependencies are installed. Let's configure our Pulumi stack for deployment. Now, Pulumi infrastructure as code is designed to be written once and deployed uh, to multiple targets, whether that's uh, dev staging and prod or possibly different regions around the world, say US West and US East. And uh, to control how the infrastructure is called rolls out into each target, we use what are called Pulumi stacks as a paradigm to provide specific configuration to each of the different targets that we might deploy to. So let's put, create a stack. All right, so we have a new stack named Langserve. If you're ever unsure what stack you're currently set, we can just go ahead and do Pulumi stack ls, and you can see I have my Langserve and the asterisk there just denotes that it is my currently selected stack. Finally, we're going to set a secret which contains our open a I API key so that our application once deployed will be able to authenticate against the OpenAI ChatGPT API endpoint. So I already have my API key and my clipboard. We're going to paste that in. And now we should be ready to start writing code. All right. So our prep is complete. So far, we have started the Pulumi dev container with our sample code, and we've attached Pulumi, AWS, GitHub, and OpenAI credentials. Now let's look around our project just a little bit. Here you can uh, see the files listed in our uh, Langserve directory. The key things to note here, we have a main.py, that is the en entry point for our infrastructure as code. Uh, written in Python. We have app that contains the app source code for our Langserve application itself. And we have our requirements.txt. This contains several Python dependencies for our Pulumi code, as well as we can place anything in here for local development that we, we might want in our virtual environment as well. And of course, we have this virtual environment, which is in our git ignore, so that does not commit to source code or commit to our git uh, source repository. However, Pulumi creates this when you do Pulumi install, and that contains all of your various project-specific Python code. Next up, we're going to actually add a new chain for our application. So let's take a look at our app. And of course, we are going to create a new chain. We're just going to call that chain.py. And we can go ahead and open that file. In this file, we're going to write out a basic little bit of Langserve and Langchain code in Python that will give us rudimentary API access. All right, so let's go ahead and write in our rudimentary code, which just gives us a prompt template to constrain the chatbot for Gandalf Q&A. Here we are. We are importing our dependencies and writing in our prompt template. And of course, we are adding to our chain output. Okay, next up, we need to add our new chain to our server.py as a new route. So in here, we are going to 
So in here, we can just add another add route for Gandalf chain. Now for this to work, we also need to remember to import our new chain.py. So let's add that to the top of server.py. Save both files. Now, before we deploy, we can actually take this time to test our application and make sure that it builds the server and starts the API without issue. Let's go ahead and do that locally. The first step is to go ahead and source our virtual environment in this shell. With our virtual environment activated, we can add a couple of packages just for testing locally. We'll let pip install those. And the next thing to do for our application to work is to actually export our Pulumi config open API key secret into our environment so that Python can pick that up from the uh, local environment variables. Let's take a look and see if our config is there. Yes, it is. And we can export that key. Now we should be ready to go ahead and langchain serve. Let's see if it works. There we go. It looks like we have a working uh, langserve lang application. So let's go ahead and get it deployed. Now to deploy this, we're going to jump back into our main.py. And in here, we have a few things hard-coded for our region. Let's find them real quick. Here we are. We have three of these. So let's go ahead and the, uh, change those to US West 2. Now, this is something that can easily be parameterized in Volumi. Um, and that would be a great feature request or uh, enhancement PR to the examples repo. But for now, let's go ahead and just do a find replace. I'm going to use my Vim key bindings here. There we go. We can be confidently certain that all of those hard coded values are changed in main.py. So with that, it looks like we are ready to try a Pulumi up. Before we try Pulumi up, though, let's just take a look and see if Pulumi can tell us in advance what it's going to build. So for this, we use the Pulumi preview command. There it is. So we have 27 resource cloud resources to build here. Let's take a look at what we're actually going to build with, from this preview command. We're building several resources going into our VPC. We're building an ECR, Elastic Container Registry Repository. This is going to hold the uh, container image that Pulumi will build. Various IAM roles um, and log groups. We're building an ECS cluster for our Fargate tasks. We have secrets in AWS Secret Manager for various keys. And of course, we have our subnets, our security groups. We have various routes and load balancer policies set up. And of course, we have our ECS task definition and service. And that is where the app itself is going to be served from. Next up, we can go ahead with a Pulumi app. I already did my preview and I'm going to YOLO this with a yes flag. Let's watch it deploy.
still take a few minutes. And we are ready to rock and roll. It looks like we have an endpoint. Well, there it is. Today we deployed Pulumi IAC, wrote a new LangServe chain to expose a Gandalf chatbot endpoint, and demonstrated a normal workflow, setting up all of our credentials, our stack, Pulumi stack, and of course, running in the Pulumi dev container. I hope you enjoy this walkthrough. It's time for me to sign off. So as always, go build stuff, go break stuff, and do it all with Pulumi.